What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the second and final round of the 2018 Feyote Park Open in Cleveland, Oklahoma. Um, this is the back nine. Uh, my name is Gabriel Dow, and I'm here with Bobby Cox. What's going on, everyone? Uh, so far, looks like Taylor Sears is just crushing the competition. He is sitting at eight under par. Um, really, the only one that's in contention with him is uh, El Larry Gizzle? Gardner. Yeah, El Jizzle. Sitting at uh, six down, and then we have Eric Rainey and Richard Wise sitting at even. So, needless to say, they have a lot of work to do if they're wanting to make any kind of move. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, starting off here, we have hole 11. This is a par three, 250 feet. Um, probably one of the easiest holes out here. It um, plays as an island. Obviously, you can, as you can see, the road just surrounds the entire basket or the entire green. Um, a lot of these guys will be throwing spike hyzers or um, something, maybe a putter or a mid-range, something that won't skip too far because you really can't afford to skip on this this island green here. And yeah, that's how you yeah. do it. That's perfect. Yeah, I like to throw a firebird just high and right and just let it come crashing in. A little skip off the road there. Yeah, and that's skips are pretty risky on this hole. Richard going with the forehand. Yep. Just tossing it way up there and having it spike down. Perfect. Well, Eric's going way up in the air. Yep. That's the play I like. I do too. I'm just it's gonna sit. That's really what you want. Unless but, that happens. Yeah, unless you throw it too far. Then you end up OB, and there is a drop zone, so uh, you kind of have to take your medicine and settle for a bogey yeah. after the OB stroke. Which knowing, like, oh, I was going to say, oh. knowing, knowing everyone's going to birdie behind you, but LG with a really uncharacteristic miss there. Yeah, just chained out on him. Shame on you, veteran baskets. <laughs> yeah, these are like brand new uh, baskets, so the chains are a little slippery. And he's now going to be three strokes back from Taylor. This is an unfortunate chain out from LG. And an unfortunate bogey from Eric Graney as well. Um, all right, we are on to the signature hole, I'd say, out here at the sure Park. For sure yep. Um, it's uh, 813 feet downhill, par four. Um, there is a road that carries all the way down the left side, so you do have to stay right of that road. Um, ideally, you want to throw something um, straight that'll just carry down the hill. There's a picnic table down the hill that you want to land near. And then uh, from there, you'll have an easy hyzer up shot and uh, hopefully tap in for a bird. Yeah, I know whenever I stand on, stand on this tee box, I want to go absolutely huge and risky, and then I just never do. Mm -hmm. I do that right there, just take it right down the middle. Yep, just like Taylor's doing right here. Ooh. And, and that's, that's, yeah. That's going to actually be really tricky because he's going to have no run up, and it's still very far away. That's kind of the same problem. Richard as well, yeah. LG, see if she can correct from last round. Yeah, he soared right into the water first round. And that's looking perfect. Yeah, like oh, you, yeah. Like, yeah, like you said, if you're like anywhere near that bench down there, you're in a great spot. Yeah. Rainy going with the I like it. Why dangerous not? play. He's going to try and roll all the way over the OB. But... He is going to, what should we call that, a black park? <laughs> <laughs> right. A black park job? Right. Instead of a black ace? That's looking a little sketch. Yeah, that ends up all right. Is that right? He's okay. right yeah, he's, he's just past those two trees right there. And Richard Wise, you can see he's left with a standstill. He can't really oh my get gosh. all the way to the basket from there. That was so close going to be. Yeah, that bush kind of... Got lucky there. Or gave him some luck. Gave him some luck. Taylor having to throw a patent pinning shot. Yeah, he's going to flex something. Get, well, why not get as much distance as he possibly can from that stance? Yep. And he, he made it past the tree, so. Yeah. That's all right. Let's see if LG can. LG absolutely crushed that drive. Way. Yeah, that. One of the better drives I've seen on this hole. Rarely are you ever set up with a really easy hyzer shot. Yeah. 
It's just because that landing strip is so skinny past that picnic table because that there's kind of there's some parking spots that like kind of go in towards the right. uh, the fairway. So it's a lot smaller landing zone and it's really takes a lot of skill to land there. Richard with a nice up shot there. Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll see you the same from Taylor. Yep. And here's LG for, for the birdie. Rare, t rare three. Yep. Awesome. And LG getting a stroke back on Taylor after that unfortunate chain out on the last hole. He is now once again two back from Taylor. Richard having his four. A score you're very happy with, honestly. At least I am. Yeah. It's so hard getting that three. And Eric Rainey with an unfortunate bogey. It's honestly surprising to see his score and see a plus. <laughs> it really is. You know? So you said. That doesn't happen, y'all. No, it like, doesn't. He's so good. Yeah. All right. We're on to hole 13, par 3, 301 feet. This is... Honestly, like one of my favorite holes on the course it's, because it's a really cool hole. Yeah, you get it's like a similar tee shot as in like regards to view mm -hmm. um, as the last hole, but Just a it's a lot shorter. Version. Yeah, yeah. So it's really cool. As you can see, LG here is going with the big hyzer, which is a very common play here. Yeah, there's the forehand gap as well up the middle. Really, whatever you want to do. Yeah, whatever's working so far in that round. The only thing with that big hyzer is you gotta worry about not going too far. Yeah, exactly. And that's great. A little tombstone. Richard's gonna show us the forehand line, which is actually my preferred route. Great. Yeah. And this is like the hole where it's you can have a bad shot and still be in putting range. Yeah. A little lefty route. Yeah, I've never seen someone go, go up top on that side before, yeah. but it worked out. There's a little lead card action for you. We got four inside the circle drives. Yeah. El Cheat was the furthest one out. Wow. <laughs> From 20 feet. Was, yeah. Nice. Well done from Richard. Gonna put him at two under par. And Taylor, who is now at ten under par. He's playing yeah. so well. Yeah, he's killing this round. Awesome. Here we have hole fourteen. This is a par three. Um, 301 feet as you can see it's wide open really the only treacherous thing about this hole is that the basket is elevated yes the putting is uh, not fun on this yeah hole. Um, there is also the OB road that carries all the way down the right side but that's not really in your head why do I feel like all elevated baskets are like in the middle of a field I'd, where it's always gonna be windy that's just how it works no I answers guess. exactly <laughs> Couple great shots there. LG didn't put it quite as close as last round. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, he landed right in the little concrete block. And that whole CTP, wasn't it? Um, yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. yep. Shout out Devin Owens for running this awesome tournament. Yeah, I really hope to see more tournaments out here at Feyote. It's it's an awesome yeah, course, awesome property. It's definitely going to be. And Taylor's the furthest one out. As you can see with the flag on top of the basket, there wasn't too much wind here in this later round. There was a little bit later in that last round, but it's a little gusty I mean, it just kind of sure. died down and turned out to be a really nice second round. And look at that putt. This man cannot miss. Yeah. Just keeping the fire burning. He's playing so relaxed and like there's zero pressure on him at all. He's just yeah. playing his game. Yep. It is a C tier as well. So that's It is kinda, a C tier. Into the, the play season, well. yeah. Yeah. He's playing with a bunch of Oklahomies too. He's not playing against like 
Eagle McMahon or Paul McBeth. Greg Barsby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are on the hole 15. This is a par three. Um, it's 304 feet. Really, the ideal play is going to be a forehand skip shot because the basket is pretty far right, um, especially once you get past this little gap in the tree. Um, the turnover shot is there, but it's very touchy. You got to throw it like perfect. Yeah. You can very easily crash it right into the bushes or down into the river. <laughs> yeah, but for the forehand, just aim at that tree or something overstable and let it fade to the basket. Yep. Looks like LG is executing that perfectly. Yep. Well done. And I thought Taylor might have been going with the back end here, but nope. Nah. That's looking good. It might... Got a little skip out of it. Yeah, that'll work. It almost looked like it wasn't gonna skip because it had such an angle. Angle, on it. yeah. Yeah. I'm expecting Richard to get this pretty close. It's going with the wider, more of a skip route, mm -hmm. and it's working. Yeah, that's perfect. He's so good at forehands. I think he's like the more underrated forehand players in Tulsa. Yeah. Not distance wise, but he's very no, accurate. Right, yeah, yeah. That's very what I'm talking accurate. about. Yeah. And just like doesn't really ever mess up with them. Mm-hmm. And Eric, all he had to do was just throw a hyzer and he happened to hit that tree. Yeah, just unlucky there. Might have pulled it a little bit. Taylor tapping in the bird. And LG will follow suit. Keep him at two strokes back from Taylor. Eric tapping in the par. See if he can get back under par here in these last four holes. It's going to be hard with these rough ones coming up. Yeah. And here we have one of the hardest holes in Oklahoma. Um, it's uh, 562 feet, par four. Um, this is hole 16. There is a really tight tunnel carrying about 300 feet down the fairway. Um, it is uphill as well, so you do have to mash on it. So it's 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 like a crush slash touch shot that you just have to hit perfectly. Like, yeah, it's it's crazy. I like to just take a mid range and just try to throw it as straight as possible and just hope I stick on that landing area. Yeah, but I'm sure these guys are going driver and trying to get way up there. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is water on the right that's OB. Across is not OB, though. We saw Brandon Cawthorn go across yesterday and stay in bounds, so. Yeah. I mean, like, the extra safe play, I guess, would be, like, just to lay up in the center of the fairway and yeah, then lay up again to the top of the hill. Even that layup is so hard. Yeah. Because, like, it, everything kind of slides down to the right, and there's so many trees on that rough on the right side. Like, mm -hmm. that's going to be in just absolute trouble. Yeah. This is nice tasty. Shot. See how he kind of aimed on that left side to mm -hmm. open the fairway up a little bit more with the okay. anti-flex shot? And that's that's the ideal spot you want to be in. Because then you can have a little you have options forehand. There. Or, yeah, yeah, you have a forehand hyzer, backhand hyzer. There's yeah. still a lot of trees in play, but it's definitely a lot easier than where the majority of players will be landing. If you're if you're not doing like a patent pending, look at that right here. If you're not doing like a patent pending straddle around a tree, it's a great shot. Yeah. And... Uh, didn't, didn't move up that much. No. He's still, still going to be doing be... some work. Yeah, he's going to be safe though. And LG oh. with the... Oh, wow. I, didn't, I actually didn't see that during the round. Yeah, I didn't either. He had that high gap. And that's well done. He's going to have a look for three. Oh... Yeah, trying. and that's you see that a lot on this hole, especially if you end up right because there's just so many trees and the footing is so awkward. He's just trying to get up there at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, let's toss it. I don't mean to laugh, but I'm just like remembering whenever I was playing this hole, and it took me six strokes to get to where Eric was at. <laughs> right. Richard is kind of a wa short. kind of a waste of that drive, honestly. Yeah, that, I mean, he was in a really good spot to mm -hmm. get a birdie. Taylor 
Hit it with an awful footing. Yeah, but a great upshot. Very good shot. That'd be for his par, right? He's really good at those flex shots. Oh, yeah. Grab something over stable and just rip it over. Here's Richard for birdie, but he's not really in putting range. Almost suck it, though. <sighs> LG. Just scaring the cage. Oh, that was there. Eric. Oh, that was er, Eric. Eric, yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, it looked like, because LGs weren't orange, so it looked like. Yeah. His sure. shirt was orange from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get some glasses. And Eric Craney with an unfortunate bogey. And LG just, really had an incredible par save there. Yeah, it really was. It's just a very uncharacteristic round from Eric Craney. Yeah. All right, we're on to hole 17, par three, 223 feet. We call this the Colorado hole, or at least I do. Um, Definitely just, just you. Yeah, it's uh, really, really, really uphill, and um, there's a lot of trees to miss. You'll um, see a lot of guys take this little gap on the right side, um, just hoping that it'll squeak through everything and um, get a little bit of a skip up to the basket. And that'll work. It's gonna be a little bit right. Yeah, I'd say one of the the most common mistakes besides oh. hitting trees, because that's that happens. But mm -hmm. uh, it's just like not throwing it hard enough. I mean, it is so uphill. You really gotta crank on it to get it up there. Mm -hmm. Even though it's only two twenty three. And that's that's about circle's edge. Maybe a little bit closer. Yeah, even Eric's taking that right gap. There's absolutely nothing on the left side. Yeah. And he's done that perfectly. Very nice shot. Well done, Mr. Rainey. And this is not a fun upshot, but Taylor has executed that very well. Yeah, a lot of chances for rollaways in this hole. Especially those big rocks, you know? Mm-hmm. <sighs> An LG. I could have sworn that went in. Just all over the basket. And that was for a chance at the win. Almost. I guess so, yeah. Or at least being one stroke right. within Taylor going into the last two holes. Right. But he's going to stay two strokes ahead of LG. Taylor's just really doing a good job with uh, damage control on the holes that he has missed his line on. Right. Like the last hole, he salvaged the par and just really doing a great job holding his lead. Um, here we are on the second to last hole. It's uh, hole 18, par three, 375 feet. It uh, carries downhill for about 200 feet or so. And then um, it's really hard to get all the way to the basket. Once it, you get past that downhill, if you get all the way to the basket, you're you're probably gonna be on like the left side. Yeah, um, only person I've seen get all the way there, like I said last round, was Randy Forsander, and he threw a um, like an FD or something. No, he, he he threw a Grand Slam Destroyer. Oh wow! On down the right side, I want to say, or no, it was a PD. Okay. Actually, no, I'm, you'll I'm, know you'll know yeah, what it is. I don't know what it Randy, is. Randy, uh, I want to see you in the comments. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. <what you're> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And that was we'll, a pretty we'll good get shot back there, to you on that one. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good shot. It's not all the way to the basket, but as long as you're having a clean up shot, it's it's pretty good. Yeah. LG is trying to get all the way there. Why wouldn't he be? I mean, there's yeah, there's no reason not to. That's not a bad effort. He'll have an easy three, but not what he wanted. And look at that. Just right down the middle. Yep. And that is... an. Just about as good as it can get. Yeah, he's left with like a 50-footer, and that's more than you asked for on the side. Yeah, that's, that's a statement shot right there. Uh, that's a very common thing on this hole. He actually hit a late tree. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a really good upshot. Yeah, this green's so guarded by trees. Even like a little upshot like this can be challenging. Yeah. LG trying to throw it in. 
Yeah, it's pretty Just much official. Left. Unless uh, LG can possibly ace this next hole. Yeah. <laughs> that would be insane. Is that going to happen? Is that happening? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> Is that a teaser? <laughs> Foreshadowing? Yeah. Nah. We'll see. Taylor for the par. Yeah, I'd say the average score on this hole is like a 3.6, 3.8. Yeah, sounds about right. It's just if you get if you get past the gap, then you're good. I mean, they made the gap look super easy. Yeah, that gap's not that yeah. easy. Yeah, it's it's a really hard gap to hit. It's. Uh, not an easy task. No. Um, all right, we are on the last hole of uh, our coverage. It's uh, par three, 287 foot. It's hole one of Feyote Creek Park. Um, most people will be throwing the uh, forehand around the left side. Um, there is a little skip hyzer shot as well, and then there is a dead straight shot as well. You can do anything you want. Yeah. Super easy shot. Randy's going way up. Yeah, a little bit short, but he'll have a putt. Does LG think this is good? Is that why he did that? Oh, oh. Maybe it had potential. We'll never know. Yeah, just hit that hill just the wrong way. This looks very wide. Standing where I was standing, that looked like it was going in. Oh, oh. my. What? Yeah, that skipped like three times. That was almost a disaster to OB to almost a nice. Yeah. And Richard's played very good golf this round, too. Yeah, he's killed this round. And nice. Did really and well. That's how you end it right there. Yep. Nothing's really working all round. Yep. He's smiling about it. He's yep. like, about time. I mean, at one point, he was three big, so yeah, he's, he's back right. even now, so he did what he could. Yeah. For sure. Richard Rich had Roy. a great year, great tournament. Yep. Looking to see more of him next round. Or next, no, next round. Next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> yep. There's LG. LG. Way to stay in the fight, LG. And Taylor Sears. Way to finish it out and hold that lead this last round. Really great golf from Taylor. And he actually shot the new course record. Course record, yeah. Uh, 48 uh, this second round. So come out and, awesome try, to, and try to beat it. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to conclude our coverage of the 2018 Feyote Park Open. Once again, congrats to Taylor Sears for taking it down. Um, and thank you for everybody that came out and played. It was an awesome tournament. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, Yeah, check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And we'll see you guys soon. Yep. Thanks for watching.